Coach, you can go ahead and give an opening statement, and then we'll open up. Okay. Questions. Well, um, really proud of this group. I mean, especially to win a game like this when we certainly didn't play our best in the first half. Um, uh, gave them six threes, and, and we just didn't, we weren't in sync offensively. I thought we've been so good offensively all year. Just we kind of over dribbled a little bit and didn't have the movement we normally do. And we talked about it at halftime. And, 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 you know, the credit goes to these players. I mean, they're, they're a veteran group who understand how to win, understand what it takes to win. And they made, you know, they made adjustments at halftime. And we had, our, we had much better movement in the second half. Um, we held them to two threes instead of six. And that was the difference in the game because uh, that we felt like that's the only way they're going to get back in the game was to was to uh, to make three. So and we we you know we got a 14 point lead in that first half couldn't hold on to it, and uh, but we got we stretched it in the second half to like 15 or 16, and then I think we went up 16 when Javon hit his free throw and then, um, did a good job down the stretch. So really proud of our players, and uh, these guys deserve a lot of credit for what what they've done this year, what they continue to do, what we will continue to do this year. Okay, we'll open up for questions. Start here on the left, second row. Pat Rooney, Boulder Daily Camera. Uh, for the players, uh, Tad just talked about the three-point defense in, in the second half. What what was the difference? What what adjustments happened? What were you able to do to slow them down from out there? Um, just running them off the line. Uh, they were getting good looks, and uh, at times we were kind of overhelping. And I think communication was the biggest thing. Uh, understanding where people are and where shooters are, and you know running them off the line with a high hand and uh, not letting them get attempts up as much. Adam, what's your time here, 24-7 sports? KJ, uh, seven turnovers a as a team. You guys have really taken care of the ball throughout this winning streak. Mm -hmm. What has changed that's allowed you guys to, to take better care of the ball during the stretch? I think just uh, mentally we're, we're being more patient uh, and we're making 100% passes like Coach says. Uh, you know, uh, we're looking <laughs> for guys, but we – we don't want to go right away. We want to let the offense settle, get a swing side to side, and when we get the ball moving like that, uh, things will start to open up. Staying here on the left. Jake Schwann is the NBR uh, for KJ and Javon. Just how would you guys describe what you saw from Eddie tonight? Um, he's a he's a different he's a different cat. Um, yeah, he's an animal. Um, you know, I uh, can't uh, speak. <laughs> he's just he's a, he's he's a great addition. Um, he's he's he brings a lot of energy. Um, and, um, you know, when somebody like that is at the, you know, center position that brings a lot of energy, you know, offense, defense, does it all for us, talks to us. Um, his communication is uh, something I'm super proud of him of because, you know, we talked about it. Um, he's actually one of my roommates. So, you know, we talk about it all the time, just him communicating to us because he's, he's in the lane, he's guarding the other big guy and he can see everything. So when he talks and helps all of us out, it's just um, a lot better defense wise. Jimmy Searfoss, 24-7 Sports. Quick turnaround tomorrow. How do you go about setting a game plan, prepping for a Washington State team that's been pretty good this tournament and uh, throughout this year? Yeah, look, we played them twice, just like you know we played Utah twice. We played Arizona State twice. If, you know, we were we were ready for either one of those. Uh, Coach Coach Greer's got the scout. He's been working on them for the last two days. And uh, this again, this group of, of players has done a, such a good job. Uh, and, and pretty much all year long, even back, you, know, you go back to November and and uh, in our in our tournaments uh, that we've been in, you know, they they digest scouting reports. They're intelligent. They understand. Now we don't always go out and execute like we're supposed to, but their understanding of what guys can do and what they can't do is really at a high level. And so again, from uh, like Javon said, Eddie from the five man to to every player on our team, and even our young guys, I think, are really learning from these guys because they're talking about it and they're talking about it with each other in the huddles and, and I hope they're talking about it like Javon said back in the room and and because uh, the more communication we can have the better and, and and Washington State is a hell of a team you know we we beat them shorthanded in Boulder uh, they weren't at their best they got us in in, uh, in Pullman and we weren't at our best so it should be I think it should be a hell of a game they got some good players they're well coached it's not going to be easy but Nothing's easy in March, especially getting the semifinals of a, you know, a, a tournament like this. So, we're looking forward to the opportunity. We're gonna get a lot of rest, get these guys off their feet a little bit, and uh, we'll get a game plan put together. I'm not worried about that. Pat Rooney, Boulder Daily Camera. Tad, you didn't have a 
a lot of minutes off the bench tonight, but how big were the contributions of Ruff in the first half yeah. and Bang got in the second half? Big. I mean, Ruff came in and banged a three. You know, he doesn't hesitate. Uh, Bang got came in, KJ found him on a roll for a dunk. I mean, he and, and Hassan gave us good minutes in that first half. Uh, you know, that it's good to have Cody back in the mix. He's still kind of working himself back in there. He, he's not quite up to, you know, midseason form. He's still got a little rust on his game. But I thought he did some good things tonight and did, played within himself. And, and that's the big thing because um, we're going to need our bench as, as, as this thing rolls, rolls along. And, and I'm gaining a lot more confidence in them. And I think our players that come out are having more confidence in them. And uh, that's, that's what happens, you know, late in the year. Those young guys, they have to grow up, and they have. Third row in the middle. Carson Field, the Colorado Springs Gazette. For both of you guys, knowing the implication of trying to compete for a tournament spot, how did that increase the energy that you guys played with tonight? Um, I think, first of all, just knowing that um, offense, um, you know, like Coach talked about, you know, it wasn't our best offense at all, by no me any means, in the first half especially. Um, and just uh, knowing that um, defense is going to be the biggest thing. You know, there's going to be nights, um, you know, where the ball's not going in the hoop. Um, Looks like for me personally, uh, tonight it didn't go in as much. Um, you know, we got the W, so I'm not, I'm not mad, complaining, anything like that. But you know, I really try to lock in on defense, and um, you know, that's what coach always talks about. So if, I, if the ball's not going in the hoop, um, we have to lock in on defense, get stops, and um, that's gonna. If we have that mentality, we're gonna uh, be good going into March for sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, add on something there because you know Javon. Uh, you know, had the assignment with Madsen. When we played in Boulder, <clears throat> we didn't start him on him. We brought, we put him on in the second half. He, he really shut him down in the second half in Boulder. Tonight he had him the whole game, for the most part. I mean, KJ had him a little bit too. It was a good team effort, but his defensive effort tonight was phenomenal. Held him to single digits, which, and Madsen's been, he's been a thorn in our side both times we've played him. So this guy deserves a lot of credit. On the left, for for the players, I mean, you guys are a little banged up. I saw Hadley, I saw you shaking your hand at one point in the game. Where's this team at mentally at this point in March where y'all are kind of worn down? Where's the team at mentally? Um, just one game at a time. I mean, there's no time for pouting. There's no time for, you know, worrying about the slight injuries. Um, that's every team right now. You know, every team's going through that. And uh, that's something we kind of faced all year. So. At that point, there's no excuses. You know, uh, the moment we make an excuse, that's when stuff will start to go bad for us as a team and as a as a group. So I think we're just all bought into team basketball and playing together and playing for each other. Far right, front row. Uh, Oliver Hayes, Scoba Sports. Um, Colorado Faithful seemed to drop really well. How big was that uh, for you guys on the court? Uh, it was amazing. You know, it was amazing. You know the. The reason why we had a good record at home was not obviously we played good as a team, but you know credit to the fan base and our fans. They showed out tonight. We heard them, you know, throughout the game. And um, when we get going and we get on runs and they get loud like that, I mean that just instills energy within us. And um, you know, so we're going to need them tomorrow, and they're a big part of this group for sure. For KJ, um, Tad just talked about Javon's defense mm -hmm. on Nats, and what was your approach on Smith? You know, he almost had a triple double yeah. yesterday, and it seemed you seem to really take the lead in making it a long night for him. Yeah, I have a uh, utmost respect for Smith. I mean, um, you know, both times we played uh, at Colorado and at Utah, he uh, uh, it was a tough battle, you know, but he got he got some easy looks, and I know he's sort of like they have a lot of great talent on that team, but he's kind of the head of the snake. He runs the show. He gets guys involved assist wise, and he gets a lot of rebounds and obviously can get a bucket when he needs to. So I just wanted to take it upon myself as an individual challenge, you know, to, you know, try and make it harder for him because if it was harder for him, it would be harder for them to run their offense. Uh, but I have nothing but love and respect for him. Back to the far right front row. Uh, Javon, it seemed like you banged up your hand um, late in the second half. Uh, what, what happened there and what uh, led you to overcome that? Um, you know, I've been, I've been dealing with a lot of injuries my, my whole life. Um, you know, I've had a lot of um, tough, you know, scenarios and tough injuries. And, you know, um, at the end of the day, I'm a dog. So, um, you know, no matter what happens, um, I know that, you know, I want to play at the end of the day. Um, so, you know, I got to, you know, just toughen up. And, you know, like KJ uh, talked about earlier, um, every team is dealing with injuries, banged up. Um, but at the end of the day, it's whoever wants it more. 
and you know I really want it. I know the team really wants to win. All right. All right.